biggest difference, and really uh, the obvious difference, I would say, is the difference between the settings in pressure support. That's the biggest one. The positive results have always uh, used high intensity ventilation and uh, the first studies uh, with low pressure, uh, due to the fact that some studies in intensive care showed that uh, too much high pressure could induce uh, hyperinflation. Uh, that's why these, these first studies start with the low pressure, but it was probably the wrong way. And high pressure uh, is probably uh, the good answer to these patients. There is two, um, two ways to answer to that. First, first of all, uh, the studies of Klini and Casanova, we must remind that the power was not enough uh, to uh, detect a difference in survival. First, it's important to repeat it. But again, yes, I think that I'm convinced that the patients were not enough ventilated. That's why probably uh, why the results were not positive. And thirdly, we can see that the endpoint was not exactly the, the same in Klini and uh, Casanova studies, for example. It was survival. Uh, in Colline study, it's true it was survival, but for example, in Hot HMV, it was survival without exacerbation. Perhaps easier to show something, and probably and it's the most important thing. Uh, it's not useful, it's what we want to have less exacerbations. Uh, it's a, uh, on the same time, it's uh, a difficult and easy question. Easy answer. You take the inclusion and exclusion criteria of the studies and you copy them. But the problem is doing that, uh, it's a small proportion of uh, COPD patients. That's the main problem. If you look at uh, how many patients were included on HMV, uh, compared to, for example, how many patients were screened, it's around 6%. In the Colline study, it's the same. That's why they spent many years to uh, include all the patients. So, the easy answer is follow the, uh, the criteria of inclusion, but probably that more patients than studies studied in these studies are, can benefit of the NIV. We ventilate patients because they hypoventilate. So, again, a very easy answer. Uh, all the patients must be ventilated to decrease hypoventilation, so to decrease PCO2. But the idea in these patients was that uh, very high pressure could induce uh, hyperinflation. That was the reason to decrease pressure support. In fact, all of us would like to uh, set high pressure to decrease PCO2, but with this idea uh, we used to use uh, low pressure and probably that it was a mistake even with COPD patients, uh, the aim of the ventilation must be to decrease hyperventilation, it's quite logical to say it like that. What is interesting is that the first study uh, ventilating on NIV patients it was done by Paul Sadoul in France in 1961 or 67, well, in the 60s, and he used very high pressure also. So it's nice to see that we had 20 or 30 years with low pressure that probably again were the, the wrong way. First, uh, we see that compliance is much better in the Colline study in potassium this study compared to the other studies, where around 30% of the patients uh, stopped NIV at the end of the study, uh, in all the studies. And first, probably that the good answer is uh, set the ventilator as the patient needed, mm -hmm. and again probably to decrease the CO2. That's the first answer. Another answer could be uh, the topic of our somno NIV group. Uh, it means monitoring. I am really convinced that if you monitor the quality of NIV, you will be able to find the mistakes, you will be able to find the leaks, you will be able to find the bad settings, the obstructions, and all these events uh, make a low compliance. So monitoring uh, 
is for me is the key point to, uh, to treat uh, well these patients. Uh, our Somo and IV group published uh, a series in Thorax uh, showing and uh, explaining how to monitor these patients. Uh, the, best, the best tool is polygraphy on the NIV, but polygraphy is difficult to read, uh, difficult to do, uh, difficult to find because sometimes you must go to the sleep lab. And uh, the softwares, the device, uh, have much improved. Really, it's incredible. Now, when you download the, the, the smart card or the ventilator uh, on the computer, you can see flow, pressure, like a polygraphy. So, in our unit and in many units in the world, uh, the first step is uh, really the software of a device. And then, if you do not have the answer of the software, you must use polygraphy on the device.